beloved, this is definitely the most intense <laughs> session I've done. Um, I know that what I'm sowing, that's what I'm reaping, and I'm receiving in my soul, and it's such an abundance of intercession and hovering <laughs> over the seed, um, giving birth. <laughs> oh, this is uh, <clears throat> such a special season. Um, it's so awesome that is <laughs> even the pain, <laughs> the birth pain. It's um, it's glorious. <laughs> Oh, Shabbat Anasiyad. Zele Perihatru Shaman Neha Seyabu Ku Shabrutatis. One thing that he was telling me about the Holy Spirit. I was asking what's... Uh, how how can I tell <laughs> the difference because you are so one <laughs> and I do recognize the father in, in, with the the planning and um, the design <laughs> and the Lord Jesus uh, the kindness and authority and righteousness and the beauty of his goodness but then the Holy Spirit <laughs> he pointed me to a place in the scripture where he says be filled with the Spirit and he says it doesn't say this about be filled with the Father be filled with Jesus. <laughs> but he says, be filled with the Spirit. And he said, that's because the Holy Spirit takes the shape of what he indwells. It takes the shape of what he lives inside of. <laughs> Do you think this is air you're breathing? <laughs> The Holy Spirit is becoming the life source of everything <laughs> that runs through you. <laughs> everything that's about <laughs> your personality and life and body. <laughs> the source, the life source, because He inhabits. Be filled <laughs> with the Spirit. <clears throat> the way he works with um, everything, with the seeds, the soul, it's like a garden, Holy Spirit that inhabits. It's, it's hovering over those seeds so they can become what's in the seed. Are the word you are the fruit, the manifestation of the word by the Holy Spirit. And we saw the Holy Spirit hovering in the first creation, and then creation started to manifest. Then we saw him overshadowing Mary, and then a new form of existence <laughs> a new form of existence i heard someone saying that it's restoring the first adam but that's that's not <laughs> that's not how the first adam was um, was created no this jesus jesus emmanuel he was born out of that perfect seed by the hovering, by the overshadowing 
of the power of God, of the Holy Spirit of God. He was born as God in flesh. <laughs> so much beyond anything that the first Adam was designed to be. <laughs> and then that seed, <clears throat> the seed of the Son of Man, that seed that had the gut head inside it was sown so would not be just one son but would be many sons this new creation it's so abundantly glorious <laughs> from that one seed many are coming through the hovering, through the work of the Holy Spirit. And He is continuing to work inside our souls, hover over those seeds to produce Christ, the life of Christ, until you are not just trying to do things. You are things. <laughs> uh, I know you can hear me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not easy to speak this in maybe a regular church service or in uh, I would say normal audience, but um, you can hear this. We, we're we looking and will continue to look at the words of Jesus which are planted in your soul, in your garden. And the Holy Spirit is bringing up this new creation. How is this new creation? Maybe you've been with the Lord. Maybe you've been with Sonship for years. But I'm telling you, when the Holy Spirit is done with this, these words are going to become something you never experienced before and the world <laughs> never seen before. <laughs> we are in um, John chapter 20. And of course, we're going to get to Thomas, <laughs> the wonderful Thomas. The Tommy boy. <laughs> oh, I love Thomas. <clears throat> so Jesus shows the first shows up the first time. Disciples are there. Thomas is missing, and then uh, a week from there shows up again. Um, interesting. He picks up the first day of the week, the the Sundays, <laughs> to show up. And Thomas is there, and Jesus, because he knew everything, he knew the hearts and what they were talking when he was not there, um, goes straight to Thomas and says, reach your finger here and look at my hands. Reach your hand here and put it in my side, into my side. And then he says something very powerful. Do not be unbelieving but believing that's um, that's powerful because it talks of a state of being it's almost like a sphere that Thomas was living into do not live in the sphere of unbelieving but I'm moving you through my words into the sphere of believing. When you are in this sphere, you do believe. <laughs> and then he says, because you have seen me, you have believed. 
Blessed are those who have not seen, yet have believed. Did you ask yourself who is he referring to? Don't tell me the disciples, the other disciples, because they were as unbelieving as Thomas was. Remember the week before Jesus shows up, they are scared to death. And again, he shows their, his wounds and they kind of believe. And he said that because they were still not believing, he asked for something to eat. Because they were thinking he's a ghost. No, they, they were not better than Thomas. <laughs> no, the Holy Spirit through John, he brings that not because Thomas was, oh yeah, that's Thomas the unbeliever, right? It's That's religion, you know, something for the preachers to preach. <laughs> On the Thomas Sunday... <laughs> No, 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 no. They, they were the same. No one believed. Isaiah 53. Who believed our testimony? Who believed our story? Who? <laughs> none of them. None of them. Read the story again. Yeah, none of them did. And he had to do all kind of things. They had to see also so they can believe. No, they were not better. They were not the ones that have not seen but believed. So, who is he referring to? Well, <laughs> Now this he's not really referring to um, those people, but what he's doing, he is starting this sphere of believing, which is a new way of receiving, of believing. That is those words talk about the generation that will have the faith of Jesus. That do not see, but they know it. They believe it. <laughs> they do not see. It's not really... Um, they do not see the symptoms gone or um, yeah that's kind of living by faith but that's not what it's referring to it's referring of the faith of Jesus the faith that he is your life he is inside of you the life that I live now Galatians 2 20 I live by the faith of the Son of God that's the faith that he starts, he initiates that sphere of the ones that will have, will receive the faith of Jesus. The ones, the generation that will have the spiritual substance before they have the physical substance. You understand that sphere that these words are starting, are initiating. Just think this is God coming through the resurrected, the power, and He's speaking that. Blessed are those <laughs> creating this realm where the substance, spiritual substance, is received before the physical substance. That's what he means by it. They have believed. They know that they know that they know that they got it. There's nothing in this world 
in the world of their old mind, in their body, nothing they can tell them anything else. They got the substance. And that's what faith is. It's the substance of things hoped for. A spiritual substance. It is about the generation that's going to live in this sphere which heaven it's more real than what you see around here the words of Jesus have more substance than the food that you put in your mouth that is the sphere that he's talking about. This is us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's talking about that. Remember, he, he's talking one time that the faith is like a mustard seed. See, uh, it's... It's something that the Holy Spirit wants to hover over. Why? Because as that mustard seed is growing, you are becoming that substance. <laughs> you are becoming <laughs> that substance. <laughs> You're not trying to do good. You're not trying to heal. You're not trying to live a powerful and overcoming life. You are. You're not just full of experiences. You know, I'm, I'm so loving, you know, the testimonies, the experiences, but what I see, it's like, uh, kind of a spurts of things that go and then you go into you know you had a great experience for like the five minutes that half an hour the two hours and then wait and then another one and then wait right no 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 when that hovering is done what's coming in is you are the experience <laughs> are the experience nothing just happens <laughs> nothing is just to be there <laughs> no hour of the day can be missing or is unimportant because everything about you it's about him because you are full of the Holy Spirit be filled with the Holy Spirit <laughs> oh, this is B I've not tried to not work on it not more be filled and that is now Amen